today. From Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. This is the National Football Here's the punter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway from Atlanta. Takes this about five yards deep. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. They're on 20-yard line. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Here's Ryan. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. They'll take over first and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Reception. Here's Newton. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's White. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second in about a yard. And oh, it's first carry. He loses the football. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. A former star at nearby Georgia. This is Sony Michelle. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. On the tackle. Four yards on the pickup. Second down. On second down, Michelle. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The ball comes out, and this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. No doubt they were hoping for seven points out of this drive, CD. The good news, they can at least salvage three because that ball went bouncing out of bounds. Yeah, how about the bounce that they got? They kept them in field goal range. You're exactly right. They get a chance to get three points out of it and not cost themselves. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Julio Jones all alone. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones. 92 yards. And the Falcons have taken the early. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. as he's tackled down inside the 20. They're on the 18-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. How many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. 
They'll run with Michelle. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's White. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first down, Newton. This is White on the screen. And he goes out right around the 39. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Nikhil Harry was the intended to. Now it's third down. It's third down. And six yards. The shotgun snap for Newton. His man, that's Edelman. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 30. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs can open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They'll try to run for it on first and goal. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Well, I know a defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited about what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. On second and goal, Newton. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. From six yards away. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Nick Folk for the point after. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out. But they'll do so fatigued. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Powell on the return. The Falcons take over first and ten at their own 32-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, 
see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. Then you would have thought they would have been ready the that's last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. If it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second. On second and 12, Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 42. It's a pickup of 16 there to the lead to a new set of downs. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Ryan. And he hits his target. This is Luke Stocker. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 33 yards that time. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. These two teams all tied after one. To throw again on second down, Ryan. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Luke Stocker. There to make the grab. And the Falcons have taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Sterling Hoffrichter to kick off for the Falcons. Now, following the touchdown, Hoffrichter to kick off. On the return, it's Taylor. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. Oh, yeah, boy. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They start to drive with White. Broke a tackle, but not much room there ultimately. Just up past the 25 and no further. A.J. Terrell coming up to make the play. From the 27, Newton, pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. So now after the sack, Cam and the Patriots going to look up at a third and long. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by DeMonte Casey, and they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. A throw over the middle, taken in. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 30 yards. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. Play action. It's Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 23 yards on the play. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really... Sh and he gets in. Touchdown Atlanta. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Young Wei Kuhn lining up. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. And they're a PAT from going up 21 to 7. Yeah, very impressive the way that they've moved the football. Full command of their playbook. Full command of the way they wanted to attack. 
extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. they become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like... Looks for White, but it's intercepted. Picked off by DeMonte Casey. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. <laughs> So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Dancing to his left. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Hand it inside, quarterback tucks it and keeps it, quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot down. No one was open, so it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, throwing back across his body. Picked off inside the five. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the eight-yard line. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now a pass dropped off here for James White. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play. And they're going to have a third down. And it's third down. Out of the gun. Newton. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously. Led to a very quick sack. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield. And he got there and put his man on the ground. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. Newton on first down. Flush to his right. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Ryan Izzo, the intended target, but it'll be second down. It's now second and 10 at the 30-yard line. Throwing again, Newton. On the left side, a catch by White. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Running out of the gun with White. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 42. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. On first down, it's Newton. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's White. The 20! And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. From the gun, here's Newton. Throw left side complete. It's White. 
And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as the tackle has made it about the five. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. From the gun, Newton. That's caught at the two. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting recently... Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw right it the line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Ryan. Steps away to his left. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he's trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game. And he's applying it now. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Being chased out left. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. On the return, it's Taylor. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. 26 yard line. New England trying to get a place on offense. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure. If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Now a first down throw for Newton. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. 
separating from the gun. Newton flushed out right. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Jacoby Myers in the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. Cam Newton now getting his guys ready to get point try. Terrific. Touchdown. I know we've got a game now. Yeah, I think anytime you go to the second half down just one or two scores, you feel not where you want to be, but in a pretty good spot. And I think for most teams, when they go into the half in this situation, it's not a lot of adjusting going on. It's much more, all right, guys, let's just play a little bit better than we did in the first half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. And yet again, Ryan is intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he brings him back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. They just had to hold on to the ball. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. So due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace. And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. First down, here's White. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the seven-yard line. From the gun, Newton eluding the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Patriots are back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try hammering from the goal line. He loses the football. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, if they weren't ready to go on the last one, give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now 
Ryan. Buying time to his left. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And some room to work. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. Ryan's throw caught by Jones. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now... And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Stephon Gilmore dials the corner blitz and earns the sack. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about... And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons push further out front a good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback especially when you're able to create some mismatches sometimes they work against a linebacker sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back but when they find it they go to it and it often results in touchdowns Ku able to connect on the extra point and the lead is up to 15 now Sterling Hawk Richter to kick off for the Falcon. now following the touchdown Hoff Richter to kick off On the return, it's Taylor. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 30, right about the 29. They're on 29-yard line. The Patriots ready to try again on offense. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And with that last, and look at this, Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 30, and the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. Uh, throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Again on second and ten, it's Ryan. Flush to his right. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll roll him out right. He'll run it. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. It's now second and six. Ryan now off the bootleg, sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards in the first. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Off the bootleg. 
Ryan to the end zone, but it's incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. Second and goal. Now it's Ryan. And yet again, Ryan is intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before. And right now, after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field. So play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more. But a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. Forced out to his left. He'll try and run it. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Brings up second and a yard. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton, his throw incomplete. He was looking for in that time, and it's third and short. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. On third down, Michelle. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A gain of seven. First down, New England. To throw is Newton. Flushed out right. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. Atlanta, Georgia's the spot. And glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action, second and ten. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Now Newton on first down. Got a man open. That's Harry. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Atlanta. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Throwing again is Newton. This is White on the screen. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards the pick up. First down. A gain of four yards. First down, Patriots. Again, Newton dancing to his left. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and it's second down. It's second down and 10. To throw again. Newton eluding the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. And the Patriots first down. From the red zone now, Newton. He's going to take off with it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, 
it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, and he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Cam Newton, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots get a score closer. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Flush to it, fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And he will get into the end zone to shave two more points off the deficit. And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one-score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two-point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. job here by the Falcons. Their hands team able to recover it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he gets it down to the 32. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. All right, partner, I'm a defender. I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter if he needs to here make those go. plays with the legs go. going out, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that foot. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown Atlanta. Big Ray connecting on his fourth touchdown pass in the ball game. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Sterling Hoffrichter in the kickoff for the Falcons. Now following the touchdown, Hoffrichter to kick off. too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Patriots ready to get the football back and it's a unit last drive. They did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. A shotgun snap for Newton. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And all Inside the 15 before they drop it. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. He's going to take that. He'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. 14 yards. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top row. <laughs> I like it. Extra point up and good by Folk. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they're going to have 
good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but now before he's across the 35. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Ryan. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep fine. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And he'll take it all the way up near the 30-yard line. Well, this is one heck of an individual performance we're witnessing. That is now his third interception. And keep in mind, folks, this isn't a safety or a cornerback. This is a linebacker. Does this feel to you like he's having a flashback? Because a lot of these linebackers we see in the NFL... In high school, they were offensive. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves him the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Yeah, uh, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll Take let you go. I took a shot. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they mixed it up. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off Bernard. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. That's complete right around the eight. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Matt Ryan now with five touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Falcons turn that interception into a touchdown. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And he knocks it through. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. Sterling Hawkrick there to kick off for the Falcons. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Getting set to go again here. Cam Newton marches back onto the field. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors yet still play perfect football. Edelman, the intended receiver that time, and that'll bring up second down. 
Throwing again. Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Throwing on third down. Newton flushed out right. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. On the move to his left. And he's going to keep it here. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Cam Newton, 32 yards. And the Patriots are back within a score. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he... and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And a short return to the six-yard line. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Taken in the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Atlanta prepped and readied for its next possession. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Being chased out left. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And the Patriots have it. Ryan on the keeper. Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah, just think about it this way. Running backs, as a general rule, they kind of know when the end of a run is near, and you notice how they cover up, right? They protect the football. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder, does the running back coach visit the quarterback coach and say, hey, I can help you with this. We can protect this and make sure we keep the ball. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Partner, he was, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means that he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Touchdown. A 23-yard run. And the Patriots move back within a couple of the lead. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two, but now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. Back to throw. And oh! Crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. He's at the 50, 30, past the 20. Prime time, baby. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will. As that play backfires in a big way. Well, that was almost a four-point swing. The interception, if he had returned it all the way, would have been two for them, but just a little bit shy. And when it's a play like that, you're exactly right with the math, but don't you feel like it would have counted for more if they found their way all the way back to the end zone and gotten the two? That changes the whole momentum, doesn't it? Here now comes. 
from the Falcons. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Oh, look at this. Ryan's going to throw it. Buying time to his left. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And the Patriots have it. Oh, well, that's unfortunate because he had a nice run going, but give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run, and obviously ball security is paramount. In today's football, everyone's coming after the rock. You've got to make sure you protect it and protect the yardage you just gained. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and four. Newton to throw. Forced out to his left. He'll run it. He's got the first down here inside the 30. But he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Now it's Newton. Goes underneath here to White. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Back to throw. He completes it right side to White. Newton's pass. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Throwing now is Ryan. Dancing to his left. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Ryan wants to throw it. Steps away to his left. He'll try and run it. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Falcons, first down. First and 10 at the 36 yard line. Now Ryan. Looking downfield for Jones. And this will be caught. Well, forget taking the knee. So, great gamesmanship here as they throw for the late touchdown. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that? They don't know my name. I'll get through the pain. Say sweet on my face like it's lemonade. Tie me up in chains. I'll get through the pain. Say sweet on my face like it's lemonade.